we have now opened a new interconnect simulation. The configuration of the windows in the view is the same as what we had set up earlier in the Layout Editor Navigation Basics video. The ring resonator circuit consists of waveguide couplers and straight waveguides. To add a straight waveguide, go to the Element Library window. You can either type in a keyword to search for an element or browse the folder structure to find the element. Click on the Waveguides folder to see the available models in the folder. Click and drag the straight waveguide model over to the Layout viewport. In the Property View window, you can click on properties to modify their values. Since we'll have two straight waveguide elements, under the General Properties, I'll rename the element Straight Waveguide 1. Now, let's assume that the ring has a radius of 40 microns, which means that each of the waveguides will have a length equal to 40 microns times pi. By default, the units are in meters. To change the units, you can click on the unit column and select micron. Under the standard properties, let's set the length to pi times 40 microns. Under the waveguide properties, you can see that there are two modes with orthogonal identifiers 1 and 2 to track the two orthogonal modes of the waveguide, labeled TE and TM, which stand for transverse electric and transverse magnetic. We will focus on the TE mode in this example. Set the effective index 1 value to 2.8 and the group index 1 value to 3.9. Next. Add a waveguide coupler element, which can be found in the coupler subfolder of the waveguides folder. Set the name to waveguide coupler 1. Under the waveguide properties, if you click on the input parameter setting, it opens a drop down menu that allows you to choose between specifying the coupling coefficient, crossover length, or a table of coupling coefficients as a function of frequency. We will set the coupling coefficient of mode 1, which is the TE mode to 0.2. We can drag and drop another set of waveguide and coupler elements from the element library, but a shortcut is to duplicate the existing objects. I can click on the waveguide and click the duplicate button from the toolbar on the side to create a copy and do the same for the waveguide coupler. Click and drag the elements in the viewport to rearrange them. Set the names of the elements to straight waveguide 2 and waveguide coupler 2. Using the rotate button in the toolbar, or the Control r keyboard shortcut, you can rotate an element. Rotate the straight waveguide so the ports are oriented vertically. It's also possible to disable any annotations that show up. For example, if I set the annotate property of the waveguide to false, I no longer see the port and property labels for that element in the view port. To connect the elements, I can use the mouse to click on the ports to connect. If the Auto Connect setting in the Edit menu is enabled, I can also click and drag an element and hover one port over another and it will automatically add a connection between the two ports. Next, add an optical network analyzer from the element library. In the standard settings, we will increase the frequency range to 1000 GHz to cover multiple peaks in the ring's transmission spectrum and set the number of input ports to 2. The ONA has one output port and can have multiple input ports. The number of points is 1000, which is the number of frequency points measured over the frequency range. This should give a large enough resolution in the frequency domain to resolve all the peaks in the response. Under the waveguide settings, the orthogonal identifier is 1, which corresponds to the TE mode. This mode will be excited by the output port of the ONA when we run the simulation. Connect the ONA output with port 1 of waveguide coupler 1. Connect port 3 of waveguide coupler 1 to input 1 of the ONA. This will measure the transmission straight through the input bus waveguide of the ring resonator. Connect port 2 of waveguide coupler 2 to input 2 of the ONA. This will measure the transmission spectrum of the light which couples into the ring then out through the drop port. Before running, you can save the simulation file from the file menu. In the next unit, we will run the simulation and plot the results.